there was an RN in Costa Rica who was working in a hospital in a surgical room. I was the director of nurses of a tremendous job. But I did private duty, which we call the private duty here too. Uh, private duty means you only take care of one patient, pay you a, the same salary. This is only the very special nurses can do that at Costa Rica. So I have one patient that was American citizen. This woman needs me in her home. So I make her around my schedule to go to work with her. Three days later, she said to me, Cecilia, would you like to go to California? I didn't know where California was. So <clears throat> she said to me, go and do your passport. At that time, I was single, I have no children, I have a tremendous profession. Two days later, there is the passport, the visa. This is 55 years ago. It wasn't that difficult to come over with the visa. Today is a big, huge problem. They gave me the visa, and I, I was very lucky. I was a professional. I was single. I ha I learned. I spoke English not correctly, but I was able to understand. I come to take care of a movie star in Beverly Hills. She's there. She has gone to sing to President Kennedy for her favors or the song he will sign my passport. Wow. The next day, she talked to me. She said, uh oh, she's not a housekeeper, professional. She offered me the job to be that the lady with the kids that it, she's a big mansion. She's a movie star. So I met a lot of movie stars. And at that time, I met um, the Bill on Crawford, John, John Gavin, a lot of movie stars. And a month later, I received what they call the green card. This green card is a permit that you, it says in English, and I read that and I understood. You can stay a hundred years in this country if you got a green card. Oh, Cecilia, you are lucky. If this woman show you how to job you in the country. So she did. What happened? My salary was a hundred dollars a month. A month passed by, she gave me fifty dollars. Say, what, Connie? Wait a minute. You and I will have a contract. And you're supposed to give me a hundred dollars. And why are you giving me over fifty? And she said, Uh oh, you're very smart. Why are you asking me? I said, Where is my other fifty? And she said to me, Your other fifty dollars I took them off to pay for your fare. My pay fare. It was a hundred and fifty dollars exactly that I paid for through my job, but I told her, oh, so you you are discounted from my salary, so that means you didn't bring me here. I am bringing myself. Oh, she said, you are really smart. So, not only that, I called my ambassador, Costa Rica ambassador, and I said, look, I am a big trouble. I have this, this card that say I am a permanent resident of the United States. The only thing I cannot do is to vote. But now I am like a citizen in this country. And she say, and he said yes. I say, and you have to protect me, my interest, because I vote for you in Costa Rica. So you cannot mislead me in your knowledge about this law. I didn't know much about, but I was stupid either. So and so, what happened? I didn't know they were grabbing my conversation. The next day, the husband is here. He was from Panama. He calls from Panama. He's serious with me. He said, well, "Are you making such a big?" I said, "No, I didn't know. I didn't do it. Your wife violated the contract, and I already been two months." So I say. So she didn't bring me. You guys didn't bring me. I owe you nothing. I am paying for my own fare. They said, well, Cecilia, you better go from this house, go to your profession, because they knew. They say, 
we know that from the beginning, you come over, you were not a, a, a lady that clean floors or do this, you know, you are a professional, and you should work in your, in your profession. So they give me extra dollar, a hundred dollars, and go, go. But I have a friend here, and I contact my friend, and my friend opened an apartment. We rent apartment, and two days later, I was working in a convalescent, earning $300. The guy in the convalescent offered me the job to be an RA, and I said, no, no, I won't take the pay because I don't have the license. I got to have the RA license, not a new. Time went by when the fellow jobs. Now I am with a woman that work, lives in Beverly Hills. She is a Hadassah a principal, which means she is a woman that brings people from other countries she installed them. And when I told her, because I live in her house and I was her nurse, and she asked me, and I said, you know, I don't know what to do about my license. And she said, very simple, you write to Sacramento and say you could recruit. She, she knew what to do. So I did that. I sent my, my curriculum, you know, I sent a letter to my principal in my college, university in Costa Rica. I sent them $5, and I told them, translate my curriculum, and they did. They did, and sent it to Sacramento, and right away, I passed with seven specialization, more than an RN here, plus a doctorate in anesthesiology. And and so, now my salary is no $100, $1,500 first month, when uh -huh. I got my RN degree.